I'm back! Yay! <laughs> um, to say China was amazing would be a massive understatement. It was just incredible. Um, just a wonderful place. Lovely, lovely people. And hey, I got to play for four days. I was on stage for four days. What's not to like about that? <laughs> um, I was playing for Kaipro guitars. Look, 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 look. Oh yeah, yeah, I have one in my hands. I'm gonna use it for the, for the video today. Um, I was playing for these guys, uh, just a wonderful company. And these guitars are absolutely stunning. They're absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna do a full video about the guitars, uh, but I'll tell you a little bit about them when I do the explanation. But I wanted to say a huge, huge thank you to the company and also the people behind the company, Kenji, Andy, the other Kenji, the other Kenji really looked after me. Thank you, my friend. You were an absolute angel throughout the trip. Um, also, Kevin, Mr. Jung, um, Eric, and uh, Jackie as well. And there were a bunch of others who were hanging around with us. And also John and Sonia Kiernan, who had come out. John was playing uh, for Kaipo Guitars as well. Uh, it was just wonderful hanging out with you guys. And I have to mention Mr. Dave Reffer as well. Not just an amazingly cool guitar player, especially the stuff when he was kind of playing behind his head and stuff, having, you know, on this guitar, which I brought home. Yeah, not to kind of, you know, just blow us out of the water. <laughs> but an amazingly nice guy as well. Just a, you know, lovely guy. So uh, wonderful hanging out with you, Dave. Looking forward to next time, dude. Yeah. All right, so, uh, intro's over. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get on with the solo for Dream Warriors. Yeah! Um, this was one of my favorite solos to play uh, back in the day when I learned it, uh, which would have been about um, 1988, 89 or somewhere around then when I started playing guitar. You know, just a, a great solo, one of my favorites off the Back for the Attack album. Um, it's a little bit different. The vibe of it is a little bit different from the others. There was a lot of energy in the other songs and the other solos, you know, a lot of kind of punch and angst and stuff. And this was a little bit more drawn back, laid back and stuff. And there are some really, really lovely, lovely melodic um, uh, solo lines um, within this um, solo. So um, I'm going to show you the playthrough and then I am going to do the full explanation and break it down in fine detail exactly how I am doing it. I'm also going to show you the rhythm so um, you can see what's going on behind the solo and you're going to get to hear this guitar which sounds awesome. Yeah. So without further ado let's do the playthrough. Here we go with that. I can't stop playing this guitar. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Such a gorgeous top. Flamed Maple. Um, you know, uh, when I got to China, Kenji had shown me a picture of the stand. And this is the one that I kept staring at. And when I got there, that's the one I played. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, single piece mahogany body, uh, that gorgeous maple top, baked, baked maple neck and uh, these locking tuners are really nice. Um, anyways, I'll, I'll quit salivating over the guitar. I shall do a full video explaining all the stuff about the guitar and some demos at some stage. But in the meantime, let me show you how to play this solo. All right, so we're gonna start off with this um, little uh, uh, section here. <laughs> Uh, 
So the first thing I'm going to do is start off with a slidey thing on the G string. I'm going to slide from the 7th to the ninth fret with just my first finger. And then I'm going to come to the B string at the 10th fret. I'm going to up pick the 10th fret at the same time muting the, the G string at the 9th fret. And then I'm going to come back to the 9th fret on the G. So like this. Okay, so very, very simple little um, intro into the solo. Then we're going to um, come up to the 13th fret of the uh, B string. Um, I use my pinky for this. I'm going to do a full step bend um, and then I'm going to do another full step on top of that. So uh, I'm going to do a compound bend basically. Uh, full step then two steps and then I'm going to bring it back to the 13th fret. So like this. Now if you're not used to doing compound bends a good way to do it is to actually get your reference pitches first um, and then try and hit those reference pitches. So I know I've got to go full step, so from 13 that would mean um, two frets up, which is a 15. And then I've got to go another full step up from there, so another two frets, so 17. And then back down to the 13. So once that tones in your ear, once you know the, the pitches, then you can try and bend up to the pitches. The other thing that I do is, you can't see my eyes right now, here they are, yay, hello. <laughs> Alright, so what I do with is, I keep watching the fretboard. Now, my fingers know how much to bend up now, and my ears do the work as well. Um, but when I was learning this, I used to watch how much I was bending the string up, so that if I needed to repeat it, then... I knew roughly where to go on the fretboard and then I could adjust a little bit at a time. So keep your eyes on this, the um, 13th fret, you know, rather than looking at the ceiling or the wall or something like that if you're not getting the pitches. Use that visual aspect as well um, and see where the string is going up to. Alright, so we, we do that compound bend. Now what I'm going to do is a quick hammer and pull off from the 10th fret of the B string onto the 13, back to the 10. Um, and then I'm going to do a half step bend on the 12th fret of the B string. Then I'm going to do a quick hammer on pull off um, again from the 10th fret of the B um, onto the 12, uh, back to the 10, and then I'm going to slide to the 8. From the 8, I'm going to come to the 10th fret of the B string. I'm just going to use my, my third finger to come up to the 10th fret, first of all, pick it. But then I'm going to do a slide from the 8th fret up to the 10th and then back to the 8th and then put vibrato on that note. So when I add that together, we'll get this. When I add the first bit in as well, we'll get this. Now you can put those semi pinch harmonics in there as well to get that kind of real Lynch feel um, also. Um, I tend to do it automatically so I don't think about it, they just kind of creep into my playing. But you know, um, I'm not just picking the string straight. I'm actually scraping along the string with my thumb, just a tiny bit here and there. And you get that kind of effect there, so try that as well. Okay, so we're going to come to the first harmony part now um, in the solo. Now the higher part, um, and the part that you, sh you see on the video, plays like this. So what I'm doing is I'm starting off on the 15th fret of the B string and then I'm coming to the 12, 13, 15 and 17 on the uh, E string. So the first thing I'll do is just a straight um, um, pattern which is going to be the 15 on the um, B string. 12 and 13 on the uh, E string, and then I'm going to slide from 15 up to the 17. And once I get there, I'm going to stop the note. Um, so like this. So it's going to be quite short, that's that 17. Um, and then I'm going to come back to the 13th fret of the, um, uh, the E string, 
and then play the 15 as well. Once I've done that, I'm going to do a quick hammer on pull off from the 13, so hammer on to 15 on the E, then back to the 13, and then I'm going to come up to the 15 on the B string. So when I add that together, we'll get this. And the first part there, I'm making quite staccato. It's very cha 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 cha. And that adds to the kind of you know just the um, the sharpness of uh, of this harmony part. So uh, you can add that into your playing as well. And then when I get up to the 15, I sometimes put a pinch harmonic on there as well, and lots of vibrato. Uh, 15 on the B string. That is the, the final note. <laughs> Now there's a harmony part that plays um, uh, underneath that as well, which goes like this. So this time I'm starting off on the G string at the 14th fret. Um, so I'm, the patterns are going to stay the same, it's just going to be the frets that are different. So this time I'm going to play the 14 on the G string and then the 12, 13 on the uh, B string. Then I'm going to slide from 15 to 17 on the B, and then do 13, 15 on um, the, the B string. Again, I'm going to do a hammer and pull off thing just like the first harmony part. Um, this time um, it's going to be 13, 15, 13, and then I'm going to bounce my finger up to the 12th fret of the G string. And sometimes what I do, I'll pull off to the zero from here. And because I do it really quickly, it's pretty much imperceivable. But it basically means that my finger's coming off rather than um, being still on the fret and then I'm, I'm having to move over to the 12th fret of the G string. Okay, so um, from there, I'm going to go into this section here. So that's the first part of uh, this section when I come up to the 20th fret of the B string. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, a slow bend full step on the 20th fret of the B string. So I'll do the bend up a full step and then I'll pick the note again and put vibrato on that note. I'm then going to do a hammer and pull off from 17 to the 20 on the B string and back to the 17 and then I'm going to come up to 19 on the E string and do a half step bend. Oops. So the half step bend I'm going to do up and then I'm going to bring it back down as well. So when I add that in we'll get this. I'm then going to do another quick um, uh, hammer and pull off between the uh, 17 and 19 on the E string and then come to the 20 on the B string. I'll then do a descend. Um, we're actually in the, the pentatonic box number one now so I'm going to descend and I'm going to add the flat fifth when I get to the uh, G string as well. So the descend is going to be the 17th fret of the uh, E string, 20, 17 on the B string and then uh, 20, 19, 17, 19 being our flat fifth, uh, 17 on the um, uh, on the G string. Okay, so once I get here, I'm actually going to ascend again um, to the 19 on the, the G string and then the 17 on the B. So when I add that together, we'll get this. When I add that first bit in, we'll get this. All right, from here we're going to do some trilly stuff. Yay! So first thing I'm going to do is slide into the 19th fret of the G string, and then I'm going to do a trill between the 17 and 18 on the um, uh, B string, and coming back to the 19 on the uh, G string as well. So like this. 
So I'm going to do that twice, and then I'm going to do this little pattern. So what I'm doing here is I'm coming off the 18th fret of the B string. I'm doing uh, 19 and 16 on the G string. Um, and then I'm coming back to the 19 on the G string, doing a, a full step bend up and down, and then coming to the 17 on the G string. Right from there, I'm going to come back to the 20th fret of the B string. I'm going to do a two step bend here. And it's going to be an up and down like that. So when I add that together, uh, we'll get this. I'll, I'll do that trilly part first, and then I'll add it into the first part of the um, um, this section. Right, so when I add that into um, the whole of this section, we'll get this. So from here we're going to do this. Now uh, this for me was the trickiest part of the solo. <laughs> so what I'm doing here is um, I'm actually starting off um, um, on the 17th fret of the B string. Um, and then hammering on to the 20th fret of the B, back to the 17th. Then I'll come back to the 20th fret of the B string and pick it twice again. So like this. So hammer on first, 17, 20, back to 17. Then I'm going to come back to 20 on the B and pick it twice. Then I'm going to do another descending run here. So this time I'm starting on the um, 20th fret of the G string. I'm picking that and then I'm coming to the 17th fret of the B, back to the 20 on the G, 19 and 17 on the B as well. I'm going to carry this on. I'm going to come up to the back to 19 on the uh, G string, 19 on the D string this time as well. Then I have a little chromatic run on the G string, so I'm going to do 17, 18, 19. Um, then I'm going to come back to the 17, pick it twice, and come to the 19 on the uh, D string, pick it twice, and put vibrato. So when we add that together, we get this. And trust me, that took me a few practices to get right, <laughs> with all the timing and stuff, but felt good when I got it right. <laughs> All right, from here we're going to do this. So a nice little simple trilly thing. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm still on this 19th fret of the uh, D string. I'm going to pick it and then I'm going to do a hammer on pull off from 17 up to 19 and back to 17. Then I'm going to come to the G string and do exactly the same thing, exactly the same fret. So pick up the 19, then do a quick hammer on pull off, 17, 19, 17 on the, um, B, the, the G string this time. I'm then going to do a slide from the 19 up to the 21 on the, the, the G and then back to 19. Then I'm going to put vibrato on, um, on that note that I land on the, the 19th fret of the, the G string. So when I add that together, we get that. All right, now we're going to do the second harmony part. So the part that you see me playing on the video goes like this. All right, so I'm starting off with this little exotic sounding run actually um, on the B string. So I'm doing 17, 18 on the B and then I'm doing 17, 19 on the E string and then a half step bend up. And then I'm gonna bring that um, half step bend down and then I'm gonna do this run. So what I'm doing there, I'm starting off on 17 on the E string, 
going up to 19, um, then coming to the 20 on the B string. Then I'm going to come up to the 17 on the uh, E again, then I'll do 18 on the, the B string and 19 on the G string. And to end this part of the section, I'll do 17 on the B string, 17 on the G string, and then 19 on the G string. So when I add that together, we get that. All right, from here, I'm going to do a full step bend on the 17th fret of the E string, um, and it's just going to go up. Now, the harmony part that goes over this is um, a higher up the fretboard, and it goes like this. So this time I'm starting off on the 22nd fret of the B string. So I'm going to do the 22nd on the B, then the uh, 19, 20, and 22nd on the E string. Now once I get up here, I'm going to do a full step bend on the 22nd on the E string. Oops. Hopefully without doing that note there. <laughs> Alright, then I'm going to do this little run. So I'm starting off on the 20th fret of the E string, uh, then going to the uh, 22nd on the E, back to the 19th on the E. And then back to the 20 on the E, um, and from the 20 on the E I'll go, come up to the 22nd on the um, B string, back to the 19 on the E, and then to the uh, 20 on the B string. So when I add that together, we'll get this. And to end this section, I'll come back to the 17th fret of the E string. Uh, I'm going to play the 17 on the E and then the 17 on the B string. So I'm going to roll my finger between these two frets. Um, and then I'm going to come up to the, the 18 on the uh, B string. And then to finish off, we're going to do a full step bend on the uh, 22nd fret of the uh, E string again. So when I add that all together slowly, it sounds like this. And that obviously stacks on top of the other harmony part that I showed you. Okay, back to the first guitar. And um, we're going to do this to to come into the ending of the solo. So this time I'm starting off on the 15th fret of the um, B string. And I'm starting off with my pinky here because then I'm going to need to go to the 12th fret of the um, E string. So I'm going to do the 15 on the B, 12 on the E, back to the 15 on the um, uh, the B string, 13 and 12 on the B as well. And then the 14 on the G string. I'm going to pick that twice. And I'm just using alternate picking for this part of the song. Um, so not a very fast part, just um, you just need the accuracy for it. Okay, so from there I'm going to do this. So another nice little simple run. So I'm starting off this time on the 12th fret of the B string. I'm going to do 12, 13, 15 on the B, then the 12 on the E string, and then I'm going to come back on myself. So I'm going to do 15, 13, 12 uh, on the B string again. And then what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to come up to the 15 on the, the E string. Uh, I'm going to do a slide up to 17 and then back to 15. And then I'm going to bounce my finger up to the 15 on the B string. Alright, so now we're going to come up to the 12th fret of the G string. I'm going to pick this note and bend it up slowly. Just a full step bend there. Sometimes what I try and do is put a pinch harmonic on this note. Alright, this is going to take us to the ending of the solo. 
which is a tapping run which goes like this. I'll do it slowly for you. Okay, so it's just a descending scale run, just using tapping to, to do this. So I'm going to begin on the um, the high E string. I'm going to um, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my my first finger on the uh, tenth fret. The frets that I'm going to do with my um, my left hand, my fret hand, are the ten, twelve, and thirteen. Now in order to get the first note, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my finger to pick the string upwards. So I'm not going to tap down first. I'm I'm actually just going to kind of just hook my finger around the bottom of the string and just. Um, uh, uh, pick the note essentially but with my finger. Then I'll hammer on to 12 and 13, tap at the 15 um, on the E string and then I'll pull back off until I get back to the 10. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a hammer on with my first finger as well. So I'm going to come through the B string and do exactly the same frets. Um, 10, 12, 13, tapping on 15. I'm going to take it up one string now. Now the frets are going to change a little bit now. I'm going to do 9, 10 and 12 with my left hand and tap at the 14. I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the D string. 9, 10, 12 and tap at the 14. And then what I'm going to do is this shape that I've just been playing on these two strings, I'm going to take it down an octave um, so that I'm playing it on, playing the same thing on the A string and the lower E string. So this time I'm going to hammer on to the uh, seventh fret of the A string and do eight and ten on the A. Uh, tap at the twelfth. Exactly the same thing on the lower E string. And that's going to give us the whole of our solo. From there, uh, when when we go back into the rhythm, uh, George plays this. And then it goes back into um, the, the main rhythm for the um, chorus. So what I'm doing here is just some pedal point stuff. Um, I'm on the first fret of the uh, low E string and uh, this is going to be my pedal point. So I'm going to chug on this note and I'm going to mute this string as well. Uh, the notes that I'm going to add are going to be on the A string, uh, the third fret and the second fret. I'm going to uh, basically chug twice and then come to the three, then come to the two and then back to the three. So like that. And I'm going to do that a couple times. I'm then going to change the bass note um, to the third fret of the E string. So this time I'll use my second finger uh, to, to play um, the pedal point, which is going to be the third fret of the E. The notes on the um, A string are going to stay exactly the same. And I'm only going to play that once. Now when I do this, I try and put pinches on all of the notes that I'm playing on the A string so that it gives a nice vibe to it. So rather than just doing something like that, I'll actually pinch harmonica. And it just makes the notes pop out that little bit more. Alright, so once I've done that, I'm just going to do a regular G chord here. So 3rd fret of the um, E string, muting out the A string, open D and G string, 3rd fret of the uh, B string. And I'm going to do the same thing again. This time I'll do the um, G chord again. And then I'll do this inverted chord, which is um, I'm borrowing off the 2nd uh, fret of the... Um, a and the D strings, I'm going to do the 4th fret of the low E string. And then I'll go back into the chorus. Etc, etc. 
So there's the whole of the solo and the um, outro for the solo going back into the rhythm. I'm going to play it all through for you slowly so you can see how it all clips together and then we'll see the playthrough again. Here we go with that. <laughs> There's the whole of that solo. Okay, so before I show you the uh, playthrough again, I'm going to show you what the rhythm guitars are doing um, underneath the solo. It's a really cool part, actually. So here we go with that. I'm just going to do the playthrough and then I'll break it down for you. <laughs> So I'm um, going to start off on the A chord, the um, A5 chord. So it's going to be the open A string, second fret with the D and the G, which I'm borrowing off with my first finger. Now I'm going to come up to the F5 chord, which is first fret with the E string, borrowing off the third fret with the A and the D. And then I'm going to transition to the F9 chord, but in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute the A string and do 0-2 on the A, and then go to the third fret of the A, um, mute out the D string, um, open G string, and third fret of the uh, B string. To give me the C9 chord there. And then I'm going to transition up to the G chord, which is really easy from here because I just basically take my second finger and put it on the E string instead of the A string. Hey, <laughs> nice and simple. All right, from here, I'm going to do this. So I'm borrowing off the second fret of the uh, D string, G string, open A string. Uh, so I'm playing variations of the A chord. And this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch over to the fifth fret of the uh, G string, uh, play it twice, and then chug on the A string and then come to the 4th fret of the, the G string chug on the A string as well, again uh, and then I'll take my fingers off and just play the A5 chord so when I add that together we get this uh, again I'll come up to the F chord this time I'm going to come to the D minor chord which I'm going to play um, here first of all um, which is the open D string, 2nd fret of the uh, G string, 3rd fret of the B string, 1st fret of the E string. I'm going to pick it twice, down and up, and then I'm going to take my my first finger off so that I'm playing the open E string, and I'm going to play it a couple times again. 
Now when I do the um, second guitar part, I basically play it uh, as a bar chord here. It's the same thing, um, just doing the, the bar chord um, from the um, fifth fret of the A string, so it's going to be fifth fret of the A, seventh fret of the D and the G, um, sixth fret of the B string, and the fifth fret of the E string. So this time what I'll do is I'll pick it twice as the chord and then I'll just take my second finger off and pick it a couple more times. You know, that that's only really relevant if you're kind of double tracking the guitars and stuff. You can play either part with whichever's comfortable for you. Alright, then I'm going to go back to the G chord. And then we're going to go back to this inverted chord which is the uh, fourth fret of the E string and borrowing off the second fret of the A and the D. Then I'm going to come back to this part. So I'm going to play the A like that and then I'm going to play the um, F chord again. Transition to the uh, C9. And I'm going to come up to the G, but I'm going to put a little inflection on the G this time. So I'll play the G, chug on the uh, third fret of the E string, then I'm going to put my first finger on the second fret of the A string, and I'm going to now play it like I'm playing a regular G chord, but just the top couple of strings, the um, E string, A string, and the D string. So I'm going to pick this and then I'm going to lift my first finger off and play again. So I get that. Okay, so we're going to come to the end of it now. So I'm going to do the A chord exactly the same as I did the last couple of times. Come up to the F, but this time I'm going to do the F and then the G right after that. Then I'm going to come down to the C9 chord. I'm going to pick it. And then I'm going to chug on the third fret of the A string a couple times. And then I'm going to transition to the second fret of the A string. So I think this is this is called a B6 chord or something like that. So um, really easy transition. I'm going to do exactly the same thing as I did with C9. And then I'm going to come up to the G chord, uh, pick it twice, and then do the A5 chord. Um, then the last couple of chords, I'm going to do the uh, A5 chord again, uh, the G chord, and um, that's the point where we go into this part. So there you go, there's the rhythm behind the solo as well. Alright, let's check out the playthrough again. Here we go with that. Doesn't this sound good? <laughs> Such a great guitar. The fretwork on this guitar is just astonishing. It's really, really good. Uh, just beautiful. Anyways, um, uh, they, they are going to be at NAMM in January. Um, so if you guys are going to be there, go check them out. I will do my best to be at NAMM um, in January 2017. So uh, if I am, I will let you know and you can come see me at K Pro Guitars. <laughs> Anyways, wonderful wonderful solo that we just did uh you know it's one of the solos which i used to play over and over and over and over and over again when i was a kid because i just loved it so much and it's just such a wonderful song dream warriors was you know one of my uh, top songs from back for the attack back in the day um 
And just the flow of it's fantastic and I love how you know we get the clean part then the overdriven part then going back to clean etc etc and that solo with all of its little um, you know bits and pieces and lovely little licks and tricks which George did on it okay so next week uh, we are gonna go on to another song I don't even know what we're gonna go into I'll have to look have to have a look at the list I'll look at the list long list <laughs> <laughs> so I'll check it out and uh, we'll probably get into another Doc and Soul or something. Who knows? You'll have to tune in. You'll have to tune in for that. <laughs> in the meantime, if you have any questions or comments, please do leave them in the comments box below. Um, or you can reach me at our websites, jpalmer.com or brightonguitarguru.co.uk. Also on Facebook, uh, Google Plus and Twitter as well. Have a fantastic fantastic week guys i'm gonna go play this guitar some more through my amp one and my um my friedman pedal and stuff because it sounds great and i love playing it <laughs> see you next time guys see you later